What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing good and having an amazing day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Wombat Invest. If you're not already familiar with Wombat, it's one of the UK's fastest growing mobile investment platforms out there at the moment. And it has a big emphasis on making investing accessible, fun and affordable. Wombat have very kindly sponsored this video and asked me to give a full and honest review of the investment platform. So we'll be looking at exactly how the platform works, who it might be appropriate for, how it compares to other platforms in the market, and I'll be giving my honest opinions and thoughts as to what I think of the platform as a whole. Coming from my point of view as an experienced stock market investor with almost a decade's worth of experience. And as a bonus for you guys, Wombat will be giving you a free £20 to invest for simply just signing up to the platform using my referral link down below in the description. And all you have to do is invest just £10 and Wombat will deposit that additional £20 straight into your account that you can then go invest as well. Now just before we get into it and start getting into all of the details, I know it is a bit cheeky asking before the video's even started, but I'd really appreciate it if you guys could smash that like button down below, as it just really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, and it enables YouTube to share these videos to more people that might find them useful or interesting. Also, if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you never miss a video. And as always, just as a quick disclaimer, this is in no way financial advice, I'm simply just outlining information and giving my honest opinions and thoughts. Always make sure to do your own research and due diligence when it comes to your finances. But with all of that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing to talk about is what type of platform is Wombat? Well, like I said, Wombat is a mobile investment platform and the way it works and operates falls somewhere between a traditional brokerage account where you're left to pick investments and stocks for yourself and a robo investment platform where everything is a bit more automated and you invest in different funds based on your risk appetite. But within Wombat, things are a little bit different. So if you want to, you can invest directly into individual companies, just like in a traditional brokerage. But what's really unique is that you can also invest in their themed funds. Now these are essentially regular ETFs and funds that you might be able to find on other investment platforms. But what Wombat do is actually change the name of the funds within the platform to make them more easy to understand and more accessible to novice investors. So the idea is that you don't need to be an expert and know all of the stock market terminology to actually understand what you're investing in. And instead of having to look through thousands of different investment opportunities, Wombat have a hand-picked and more concise range of options. Okay, so that basically gives you guys a basic rundown of how the platform works. But let's now dive into all of the details and see what it actually offers. So the first thing I want to quickly touch on is safety. This is one of those platforms that you shouldn't need to worry about. It's fully regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, and with that you're covered by FSCS. So if for any reason Wombat ceases trading, your money will actually be covered for up to £85,000 in compensation. And this is basically something to look for with any financial service you plan on using. And this compensation is exactly the same as what you'd get with regular high street banks and other reputable investment platforms. All right, so next up, we have the investment account types that are available. Wombat currently have two account options, a general investment account and an investment ISA. Now I think it's great that they have both of these offerings as a general investment account is perfect for those with maybe smaller amounts of capital who aren't going to be affected by capital gains tax. And an investment ISA is my personal account of choice for long-term investing. As over time, the tax benefits can be really beneficial, especially if you utilize the account to its full, because essentially all of the profits within this type of account are completely tax-free. But with that being said, the one big limitation of Wombat at the moment is that they don't have other investment account offerings like a SIP, Lifetime ISA or Junior ISA. So if you are specifically looking for an account type like one of these, you will have to resort to a different platform. However, I do know that Wombat are intending on expanding their investment account options and it's in their roadmap for 2022. But because it is a new platform, these things just take time to implement. The next thing to cover is the fund availability. So like I briefly touched on, compared to other more traditional investment platforms that could have hundreds or thousands of different investment opportunities, Wombat actually has a much more condensed list of options. And I think you can look at this from two different angles. So firstly, it could be potentially limiting as there will be other profitable opportunities out there that aren't supported by Wombat. And you could feel like you're missing out on these opportunities. But you can also look at it from another point of view that actually Wombat have strategically picked a list of investment opportunities focusing on long-term growth from the thousands that are out there to actually make life easier for you as an investor. So you don't have to trawl through a huge, potentially overwhelming list of investments to try and find a profitable opportunity. But this point really is subjective and will be a positive or a negative depending on your personal investment approach. It's also really important to remember that no matter where you find an investment opportunity, it still always has the potential to lose you money. Now when looking at the fund availability and investment options compared to the robo-investment platforms, I think it's fair to say that Wombat actually has a pretty extensive list in comparison. 
And I feel they also have some more exciting opportunities as well with the potential to make higher returns than most of these robo investment platforms, which I generally think are more conservative on the whole. So Wombat currently has around 50 individual stocks that you can invest in. So this includes the big well-known companies that you might expect to see, like Tesla, Apple, Amazon, and so on. And in terms of funds to invest in, they currently have around 30. Now, like I mentioned before, what's unique about Wombat is that they actually rename these funds that they offer to make them more accessible to investors. So for example, rather than seeing an S&P 500 index tracking ETF, you'll actually see the All American Fund, which makes sense and describes what the investment opportunity is all about. Because the S&P 500 is an index made up of the 500 largest trading US companies. Another example is the NASDAQ 100, which is often referred to as the Tech Index. And so Wombat have rebranded their NASDAQ 100 tracking fund as the Techie. And this is basically the same with all of the other funds that they offer. Now my personal take on this is that I think it's actually a really cool idea to do this, to make investing more accessible. But the one thing I was initially apprehensive about is are the funds any good and could they potentially be misleading? But I can say I don't think the fund names are misleading and I think that the funds they've chosen as well also cover a good range of the market and there's a good range of funds appropriate for those willing to take more or less risk. And actually I personally invest in a lot of these funds myself. So overall I think there is a pretty good range of investment opportunities and obviously there are some opportunities that won't be supported by this platform. But because it is such a new investment platform I'm really excited to see what funds and investment opportunities they add in the future. Alright so next let's look at the actual platform itself and the process of buying and selling shares. So the app and interface itself I actually think are both really good and it's easy to navigate through the menus. Something that I noticed and thought was really cool is actually the process of depositing money into your Wombat account. So unlike with some platforms, you can be required to send a bank transfer to the platform using their bank details and you have to type in manually the sort code and account number and whatnot. But somehow within Wombat they made the process really seamless and with just a few clicks you can deposit money straight into your account by bank transfer without having to type in any of these bank details manually. And then once the money's in you can start looking through the investment options and find something you want to go with if you want to invest. There is a good amount of information shown when looking at the funds in individual stocks, with things like chart performance, previous year's returns, an overview of what companies make up a fund, and also more technical information if you wish to read it. And I'd say this level of information is sort of on par with platforms like Trading212 and Free Trade. The one thing I feel could be improved are the interactive charts, as they can feel a bit clunky when cycling through the share price value over time. And I also wish that you could look at the chart performance over a more narrow time period, for example a day, five days, or a month because I personally like to look at these timescales when I'm actually buying and selling shares to try and maximise profit slightly and try to make sure I'm buying or selling at a more optimal time. But to get around this, you can just look at Google Finance and other third-party websites to get more information if you need it. So when you actually come to buy or sell some shares, again, it's super straightforward. And the minimum that you can invest at a given time is just £10. With this, you can also buy fractional shares in funds and companies as well. So what this means is, say you wanted to invest in Amazon, their share price is currently sitting at around $3,500. So rather than having to buy a whole share of Amazon, you can still just invest with £10 and you'll get a portion of a share, which is really good for investors starting with a smaller amount of capital and it makes some of these investments just a lot more accessible. So the one big thing to bear in mind with Wombat when it comes to buying and selling shares is that the orders aren't actually put through instantaneously. So instead, Wombat actually put through all of their orders once per day. And the reason they do this is because of their focus on long-term investing. So for long-term investors, this shouldn't really be a concern because I think if your focus is on long-term growth, you shouldn't really be too worried about intraday volatility. But that being said, if you are more of a trader and plan on buying and selling shares with a quick turnaround to make a profit, this platform won't really be appropriate for you. However, that being said, in the future, I understand that Wombat are planning to be more accessible to a range of different investment styles. There are a few more features that Wombat offer that I just wanna to quickly touch on, which I think could be quite useful. So one of which is auto investing. So if you plan on investing consistently, rather than having to do this manually, you can actually set it up so that Wombat automatically invests for you each month. And I think this can be really useful if you're trying to get yourself into better saving habits as it sort of forces you to do so. They also have a roundup feature where you can connect your bank account to Wombat and every time you make a purchase, that purchase will be rounded up and the difference will be deposited directly into your investment account. So again, I just think this is a nice feature to have as it will allow you to start saving and investing that spare change. And also, you guys can get a free £20 to invest within Wombat. All you need to do is set up an account using my referral link down below in the description and invest just £10 and you'll get an additional £20 deposited into your account which I think is a nice little booster if you're just starting your investment journey. Okay, so the final thing to cover are the fees. So with Wombat, you'll be charged a flat fee of £1 per month, plus a 0.1% annual management fee. But the really good thing is that there are no dealing charges. 
So honestly, I think that these fees are pretty competitive. And when you compare it to do-it-for-me investment platforms like Moneybox and Nutmeg, it actually works out about the same, if not a bit more cost-effective. Also, when comparing this to the more traditional investment platforms like Hargreaves Lansdowne or AJ Bell, where you can be charged around £10 every time you buy or sell some shares, this again is pretty competitive, especially if you're investing consistently with a smaller amount of money each month, these fees really do add up. However, when you compare it to the free investment platforms like Trading212 and Free Trade, with these you are able to invest more cost effectively, as you can set up an account, buy and sell some shares without incurring any fees. However, with these platforms, you will have to take a more hands-on approach to investing. And so with Wombat, you sort of pay that fee to get that experience of investing through Wombat with their themed funds to try and make life easier for you as the investor. So if these features do appeal to you, it's probably worth paying that little bit for. But equally, if you are a really experienced investor, you will be able to save yourself some money by investing elsewhere. The one final thing to note in terms of fees is that if you're actually investing in a non-UK investment that's valued in a different currency, you'll be charged up to a 1% exchange fee every time you buy or sell some shares. Now this is similar to most other investment platforms out there, but it's just worth bearing in mind if you plan on buying a lot of non-UK investments, this exchange fee could add up and start eating into your profits. So with all of these things considered, what are my final thoughts of the platform as a whole? Well firstly, I really like the emphasis on long-term investing and how they're actually trying to make the process easier and more fun for people that are new to investing. Investing can really be quite overwhelming and with all the terminology and jargon, it can very easily turn people off it altogether. And I think by trying to capture this market, it could be really beneficial to the end user. I also much prefer the model of being able to pick investments yourself rather than having a risk appetite structure that the do-it-for-me investment platforms implement because I think it just creates a better learning opportunity for beginner investors to actually start understanding what they're investing in, rather than just a generic low, medium or high risk fund. I do also think that Wombat isn't really appropriate for everyone, most particularly traders and really experienced investors who maybe want to invest in more niche opportunities. But overall, I think Wombat is a really solid platform and as it's such early days, I'm really excited to see how it grows and develops in the future. But there we have it, that basically covers everything for today. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video or feel like you learned something new in any way, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could smash that like button down below, as it does really help me out with the YouTube algorithm and just allows YouTube to share these videos to more people that might find them useful or interesting. And if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you never miss a video. Do also make sure to drop your thoughts down below in the comments, as I'd really like to know what you guys think of this platform. Have you used it already or maybe you've never even heard of it? As always though, if you do have any feedback or questions for me, make sure to just drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to respond to all of you. But with all of that being said, take it easy guys and keep saving.